Hey everyone, this is Project SPC. Today I'm going to answer two very important questions for Latte Panda Alpha. Can you run a solid state drive and a GPU at the same time? And can you power the GPU and the Latte Panda Alpha off one external power brick? Let's find out. Starting with my power brick, I've got an Xbox 360 power supply. It costs six bucks at GameStop. This one's rated for 175 watt. If you account for the Latte Panda Alpha and a GPU that doesn't need an external power connector, you're looking at about 100 watts total, so it should be within the threshold of this power supply. For a GPU, I have a GT710. I know it's not a great GPU. I'm probably gonna get a GTX 1650, but for the meantime, for testing purposes, this works great. I've got my Samsung 970 Evo attached via E-Key. I posted a video about this before. It works well and it will work for this testing purpose. I've got my M.2 to GPU adapter and I've got a PCIe riser going to my GPU. For a connector, I have a female Xbox 360 connector that I've wired in to both the M.2 adapter and to a JST connector for the Latte Panda Alpha. And one other thing I really wanted to test out was, can you run a power switch? Lastly, I've got my display, which is a Magidoc 11 inch touchscreen. It's got a built in speaker, HD capable, and that's where we're gonna put out the video. Let's plug this in. Okay, so I just plugged it in. I've got a green light on the power supply. My screen's lit up. And I've got a nice blue light coming from my power switch. Let's go ahead and find out if it'll work. And there it is. Let's come over here and turn the screen on. And there we have it. Everything running off one power supply. I've got a USB cable plugged into this display so I can use this as a touch screen. Let's go ahead and log in. And there it is, the GT710 and the 970 Evo running off the same. Latte Panda Alpha, and external power brick. So this is what I've been working on for the past few weeks. I did take a break from the Nintendo Switch project while I sorted out getting a battery. So what I have in store for this is uh, I'm going to start designing the case that everything's going to fit into. I'm going to try and get a GTX 1650 when that comes out for my setup. I will go through a more thorough review of all the parts that I used and how it'll all come together once I get my case designed. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see where this project goes, along with my Nintendo Switch Latte Panda Alpha project, and another one that I've been thinking up, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.